she watches all of your stories, but she doesn't say anything. She's peeking, but she's not speaking. I've dealt with this many times. And a lot of times it's women that rejected you. They might have ghosted you, you know, girls you used to mess with. The second I post, they watch my story. And they want to know if they were right about you. Are you a winner or are you a loser, right? They made a bet on somebody else. They went and jumped ship, went to a new man. Now they want to see, are you doing good in life? A lot of times they don't want you to be doing good, to be real with y'all. They praying on your downfall. I have friends praying on my downfall, right? They act like they support you when you see them in person. But it's like, damn, my boy, you ain't like none of my photos, <laughs> you know? So you really have to be aware of people. And, you know, that's a lot of times I post stories on Instagram just to see who liked and didn't like my stuff. And some people like, man, you tripping, that's childish, why should you care? No, because it's something that's free, right? If you claim to be my friend and I know you saw my post and you didn't like it, that says something about your character. Something that's free, it takes half a second to like a video. If you act like you mess with me, you would have liked that. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times people be hating and they act like they're your friend. You know, that's just the reality of things. So go ahead, hit that like button for me. I would appreciate it. But that's one of the reasons why a lot of women will watch your story, but they won't message you. They praying on your downfall. Then the other women, they have a fear of missing out. If you keep winning, they're going to try to spin the block eventually. If you keep winning, if you keep showing that you're getting after it, you're improving every single day, they're going to they're gonna spin the block. They're going to get back at you. And a lot of times women, they are already dealing with a man. And as soon as that situation doesn't work, they'll be right back to you. Absolutely. They'll be right back to you. I had that happen with the girl a couple months ago. I was talking to her. Then she just ghosted me for maybe two or three weeks. And then she hits me up. Hey, what are you doing? She came straight to the crib, got smashed. And then she was saying, then she started telling me she's looking for a relationship. I was like, nah, I'm not looking for that. You know, so I stopped talking to her. Now she got a boyfriend again. <laughs> you know, so, man, these, these, a lot of these women, they be moving fast, bro. So a lot of times that's what it is. They're already seeing somebody and they keep in tabs on all the other dudes they're interested in. Right? They, I think I seen a study. They said, like, I might be wrong, but it was like 78 or 80% of women already know who's next up if this doesn't work out. You know, and I'm not going to lie. I've done that before, too. <laughs> you know, the last girl I dated, the day she broke up with me, maybe two days later, I had a girl on TikTok that used to be liking all my stuff. Smashed the chick from my gym. And I knew she was into me because she would always like my stuff on TikTok. Right. So women be keeping tabs on you. So the more content you put out there, the more views you're going to get. And women are going to see your lifestyle. Right. A lot of times out of sight, out of mind. Everybody's glued to their phone, so be on that phone, right? It's good to take a break from social media every now and then. Too much of anything is a bad thing. But post, post your meals every now and then. Post you out doing this thing every now and then. If you take a trip, take a couple photos, right? If you're in the gym, post a thirst trap every now and then. That can go a long way. Yeah, that can go a long way because I've had a couple girls slide on me through thirst traps. You know, some, some guys I know, they're like, oh, I don't do Instagram, I don't do Snapchat. You're going to miss out on a big group of women if you don't deal with social media because a lot of these women are social media junkies, right? So you could be a great guy, but she's seeing all these other people in her face, out of sight, out of mind, she's going to forget about you. So make sure to post a little something, something every now and then to stay on the front of these girls' minds, right? Show that you win it. Don't do it in a cocky, arrogant way. Don't be out here posting your money. I done seen that way too many times. Dudes post their money and then mess around and get robbed. Or dudes owe me money and they out here posting money. <laughs> it's like, bro, come on. You know, don't be one of these dudes that's trying to be a thug, posting your guns and all that stuff. Bro, that shit's lame. You know, that shit's lame. And that's how you get set up. That's how you get screwed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't be corny with it, bro. But, you know, you go out on a nice meal, you might want to post your meal every now and then. You go on a trip, post your location every now and then. Just little subtle things like that, showing that you win in that life. Because these women have FOMO. She, she, she looking back at you like, damn, what's I wrong about him? I thought he was a loser. Now he out here winning. Right? Because that's how it is for a lot of dudes, right? A lot of guys, they get their motivation from breakup. Right? A lot of people be like, oh, you're you supposed to do it for yourself. You're supposed to do it for... No, I don't care what it is. Anytime a girl has left me, I've been more motivated. She goes to me, I'm more motivated. I'm almost happy she left me because now I have more time in the day. I can go hit the gym harder. I can go hustle harder. 
I can put more hours in at work. Right? So realize that a lot of people are praying on your downfall, bro. And some of these women are praying on your downfall. Some of these women, they're going to spin a block. So keep winning. Put yourself out there just a little bit every now and then. I ain't saying you got to post every day. I ain't gotta, I'm ain't got. i not saying you got to be a social media influencer. But post a little bit of content every now and then. right? If you want your weight loss journey, take progress photos. Because, and not just impressing the women, you can inspire other people too. Yes, absolutely. You can inspire a lot of people, man. You guys that are bulking up, you guys that are losing weight, take progress photos, man. Because people are going to start thinking highly of you like, wow, he did that. I can do that now. Inspire other people, man. But yeah, man, a lot of these women, they won't message you first, but they'll keep tabs on you. And even the girls I like to DM, I like to slide on, a lot of times it's the women that have been liking my photos for a long time. Because she's already showing that interest. Now, the cold DMs, that works every now and then, but it's not as likely to work. But if you already got that girl following you, she liking you all, liking all your photos, dog, she probably going to fuck with you. You know, she probably going to fuck with you. So keep winning, bro. Like I said, I don't care what motivates you. If When I see a girl that ghosted me and she the first one to view my story every single time I post, that that's just more motivation to me. You know, I know a lot of dudes say do it for yourself. Uh, motivation should come within, and all. hey, it should, but it, it sometimes it doesn't. So you got to get your motiv motivation wherever it comes from. And every time I'm in the gym, I'm doing something. I'm like, I'm gonna prove this person wrong. I put enemies in my head. It might be a girl that left me. It might be a friend that crossed me. I put those enemies in my head, and I think about them when I'm hitting the punching bag. When I'm, <laughs> that, that's gonna sound bad. I don't think about the exes when I'm hitting the punching bag. I think about the friends that cross me, okay? But I think about all that stuff that motivates me, man. I think about the coaches that doubted me back in the day, you know. And I, I keep that spot in my head for them to stay motivated, bro, to keep going hard. Because it's so easy to just let, off, let your foot off the gas, man, because this is a comfortable world. <laughs> this is a very comfortable world. And they're trying to make you comfortable and just sit on your ass, right? My coach, first coach I used to always have, man, he gets so mad, he start calling people a shit ass. This world will make you a shit ass, man. You walk around like you got shit in your drawers and you ain't really about anything, bro. So if the, if the exes, if the girl that ghosted you, if that girl that rejected you, she slid in her DM, she left you on open, if that motivates you, bro, by all means, do that, use that motivation, bro. Dog, I have so many girls that just ghosted me. Okay, you're going to regret that. I'm going to keep winning. And when you try to come back, you can't come back. And if you do come back, you get lucky, you're just going to get smashed, and that's it. So whatever you got to use to get motivated, do it, my boy. But put a little bit of content out every now and then because that's going to stay on the front of their mind. These girls are social media junkies, bro. They're on Snapchat every day. They're on Instagram every day. Put a little bit of content out there, bro. Post a little thirst trap out there every now and then. And that can go a long way because she's going to start keeping tabs on you, right? If she's watching your story every day, that's a good thing, right? Cold TV, Jacob Jonathan TV, whatever your name is, treat that shit like it's a TV channel, man. Because I'm telling you, bro, post a little bit of content here and there can get you a lot of women, bro. I, I, I promise you, bro. But that's all I got for y'all today. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't liked that video. Y'all boys keep winning. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.